Hey everyone and welcome back to the Minnesota Homestead. Today we are getting our ladies ready for winter. My husband is helping with the process so this is the first time he's on the video but I'm pretty sure he won't look at you. But anyway, this is Jeff, my husband. So what we're gonna do is make sure that the bees are really, really warm and protected for the winter. So bees have a really great mechanism for taking care of themselves. Uh, obviously the queen is the most important part of the hive and she's very important but also not that competent. <laughs> so she can't feed herself, she can't get any water or anything like that. So the rest of the bees know that extremely important that she survives, um, but that means they not only need to keep her warm, they need to get her fed and watered. So what they do is they make a big ball with the queen in the center. They shiver their wings to generate heat, and then they rotate in and out, taking honey from the frames and then water and bring it in to take care of her. That then brings them inside to get them warmed up and the others come out, they get on the outside, get cold and then grab stuff, bring it back to the queen. You can actually get up to about 95 degrees in the center where the queen is. So it's a really, really cool way for them to take care of themselves. But especially in northern climates like here in northern Minnesota, we really need to make sure that we're helping them along as much as we can. So as you see, we've got our hive here and it's got the multiple different boxes. Bees use propolis, it's something that they make, and they try and fill up every crack and crevice. But with us doing hive inspections, we are continually breaking that and causing a problem. So what we need to do is find a way to kind of seal up those cracks, give it any other wind protection possible. There are a couple of different ways you can do this. You can buy some special cardboard, um, other couple of fancier um, types of covering for it. But what we're gonna do is we're actually going to use tar paper. So we have that, we're gonna go ahead, wrap it around the hive, and then um, we're also gonna put something on the top. Here it is. This is a moisture board. So it's nice and um, porous, so it's gonna help trap the moisture as it comes in. So, not as it comes in. So the top that we have over here is metal. So with how hot it gets inside the hive, if there's any um, condensation or anything that comes in, it's gonna form up on top of the metal and then it's gonna drop down. Bees can handle being cold. They can't handle being cold and wet. So where this comes in is we place this inside underneath the top cover so that it takes care of any of that liquid for us. So let's go to home, go ahead and get her all ready to go. All right, we have our tar paper on. So I wanna point out a couple of different things to you. So first of all, of course, is we have the tar paper all over here. We uh, put it on nice and snug, but not too tight, wrapped it all the way around. Um, so the first thing I'll show you is this hole right here. If you've been paying attention to um, some of our other videos, you'll know that we had a hole in each of the boxes, and now we only need one of them open. It might seem counterintuitive that we're wrapping them up, keeping them all snug for winter, but we've got a hole here. Airflow is extremely important. Um, so that's one part of the airflow. Another, I'm gonna bring you down here and show you the entrance reducer. So this uh, little piece of um, wood is in here all year long. It has a couple of different options for it. You can just keep it um, completely flipped so there are no uh, entrances available. It's gonna completely seal it off. There's one that it has about a three inch opening and one that's got just a little bit about an inch of an opening. So normally I would assume that uh, you'd be closing this off completely for winter, but it is very important to have that air flowing and moving throughout the hive, not just going in and out. So down here, you would typically have this on the one inch entrance, but we have a slight problem right now. We have a little bit of our hive that started cracking a little bit down here late this fall and it was getting kind of cold out and whatnot. We didn't want to do a full um, taking all of the hive bodies off um, to replace this. So we're going to wait till the spring. Um, but that little bit of a crack meant that the entrance reducer is in there really, really tight. So we don't want to mess around with that too much, cause any additional damage to the hive. So we still have it on the three inch opening, but we've taken some plastic spacers, closed that up on either side so that it's just a small little opening. And so the small opening is there to, again, help with airflow, but we also want it to not be too big that it's letting in too much wind or letting in mice. Mice love to have a nice cozy place for the winter and they will move right into your hive if you let them. So we wanna make sure there's not a lot of room for them to get in as well. So that takes um, care of the actual uh, protection of the outside of the hive. 
we do have that moisture board in here and then we put our telescoping outer cover on top of it um, that's tilted off just a little bit so there is a little bit of crack for air to get in and flow there as well so the ladies are nice and warm their cracks that they've made are completely covered up and they have that airflow ready for them as well so our ladies are looking pretty good for winter um, there's a pretty low survival rate up here in northern Minnesota we were lucky enough that our first year hive last year even though very very weak it made it over the winter we had a 30 degree below actual temperature 60 below wind chill many feet of snow so I don't know quite how they made it but they were chugging along um, as you know this summer we lost our queen and we had to requeen our hive she's really gotten the population up so I feel pretty good going into winter this year but you never know so we'll be keeping an eye on them every time we come out here for a walk in the winter I typically kind of peek in there and see if I can see anybody moving around and listen so we'll be keeping an eye on it and hopefully when we unwrap her in the spring we're gonna see some really really good stuff in a couple of months we will possibly put on a candy board um, in case they're running low on sugar or anything we'll actually um, basically build a big board of sugar and and it will put some pollen uh, patty some pollen substitute so if we do that and we probably will I'll make a video on that not only of the making it but getting it in the hive as well so I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about how we continue to keep our bees in northern Minnesota. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there so you keep up with all of our fun stuff. There is a little bell icon right next to it, and if you hit that also, you'll get notified every time we post a video. You can also check us out on Instagram at the.mn.homestead and follow our blog at themnhomestead.com. So thank you again for joining us, and we will see you next time up here at the Homestead.